Joseph and Brian Draplick are 6,000 miles from home, but hockey is where their hearts are. And right now, that's in Surrey, British Columbia, with the Eagles of the BCHL. For 18 years, Joe and Brian have been lacing up their skates together. Sometimes the only way to tell these identical twins apart is the number on the back of their jersey. They might have been born eight minutes apart, but on the ice, they couldn't be any closer. We have some weird chemistry. Like if he's on, if I see him with the puck, I'm usually like, okay, he's gonna pass me the puck, so I better get my feet moving. They're not the most vocal guys, and the amount of times that they find each other on the ice in key situations and key moments is, is astonishing. The special bond these teammates share doesn't surprise documentary filmmaker Leora Eisen. Twins often share language when they're babies. About 40% of twins have something called cryptophagia, which is this shared language. It might be goo goo gaga to everybody else, but they know what the other is saying. Mike and Lisa Draplock raised their five children in Pembroke Pines, Florida. Mike always wanted to play hockey when he was growing up, so it didn't take long for him to pass the game of hockey onto Joe and Brian. The roller hockey rink started popping up. All the kids just started, it was, was kind of like Little League for hockey. Everybody just started playing hockey, and it was for fun. I always wanted to play, and then the boys playing, it just was just an exciting thing. They probably learned how to skate when they were probably between three and four. At the local town, they had to learn to skate. So we took them there and met some other children in the area that were learning how to skate, and at that point, they went to a, a roller blade. So we started with roller when we were like three, and then just moved on from there, just played roller. Then we moved to ice, and then it was like switching back, back and forth. I think uh, just watching the Panthers play made me and my buddies want to switch over to ice. Joe and Brian share a lot more than their DNA. Their hockey careers have taken them all across North America. No matter the city, the league, or the team, one thing has stayed the same. They've played together. We almost got separated like two or three years ago, but then we both decided to play hockey in Canada. When I was younger, I think I pictured myself playing in the BCHL, actually. My rookie season when we were in Minnesota, we played Surrey at the RBC Cup, and then I was like, that'd be crazy if I played there next year. And then it ended up happening, so it was weird. I think any time that you hear of kids coming uh, from California, Florida, non-hockey type of markets, and having the success and the skill set that these kids have uh, is a, te a testament to their desire to play. The brothers say that desire to play is fueled by their special bond. And yes, it's a competitive one too. But what did Joe and Brian think about having each other along for the ride? It's awesome. I mean, best friend's always with you, I guess. Sometimes I think of what it would be like if he wasn't there, but then it's better that he is. I think I take it for granted every day. The Draplock's time as teammates is far from over. The Twins' next test on the ice will be playing Division I hockey in the NCAA. They've been recruited together to study and play at the prestigious West Point Academy, where the next chapter in their hockey story will once again start and end with each other.